I almost was almost completely ready. I almost did. <clears throat> My apologies. Uh, I forgot to activate this. That way I can go on message. Uh, There it is. Oh, you know what? Uh, I did some and now she's definitely So I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna work to try and be a little bit more uh conscious of the boat. I have also uh figured out how to shift car into manual transmission. So that's good. Whoops. I hope everyone's doing well today. Uh, got some Constantly have to trade it. That was good. All right, trying to get the hang of this whole streaming in VR. Sorry, well, I'm focused just a little bit. Well, getting the hang of it. I 
It was a nice evening that we had here today. Uh, so there won't be any laps tonight. Uh, it's just. I'm gonna try not to <laughs> flip the car. <laughs> I hope everyone's sad. The weekend. Well, <laughs> it's time to have to. Did not realize. Uh, we can always feel like when you get to it, just rest. But I hope that you guys are going to be able to do it. Uh, and if you'd like to see today is your Friday, I know that's right. I had everything ready to go. Yep, no, that's fine. Uh, ah, yes. Probably should have stopped. Friend. Countryman. Do not, <laughs> do not use me. Uh, as a, as a model, for which to, to model. I do enjoy the challenge <clears throat> that comes with drifting uh, in some of Great Arc's later maps. It is a lot of fun, uh, but there is also a lot of joy uh, to be had uh, just driving. Style. Uh, a lot of. I did accept my. So, I think it's going to be a long I don't speak Japanese, uh, uh, other than to ask if I went to the bathroom. Uh, made it something of an issue of mine. Learn how to ask for the best. But, maybe, with a little luck, I also found I've I've been kind of quietly in the background putting together uh, uh, a group for a very small VR chat room. Uh, that's, that's kind of a, a little bit of a capture of the lost uh, space time. Uh, still kind of hunting down avenues for it. Uh, but I think I've got all the so I just need to figure out the schedule. Uh,
able to uh, kind of fit the system. Is there not going to be like a, a like a game? Obviously, they'll, they'll be inherent. Kind of, sort of, a little bit. But I'll step up here. I want everybody. <clears throat> I've always preferred like kind of small. Uh, the only problem I have is uh, role play uh, lobby. Not that there's like issue with them, but the thing that I I so many so many narratives. You practice, so it's easy to feel like you're falling the wayside. I miss a really cool narrative moment uh, because you know it's just, it's just what happens. Uh, which isn't the thing. Come on, you gotta plug to them. They're totally. Like, uh, I personally, especially if it's this, uh, the best, the best dungeon I have run, uh, usually with, uh, or at the end. Any, this, I personally. at the table, have their moments and their sounds, and make sure everybody knows their characters and their Which could be funny. I will forget <laughs> those some beats that I do, uh, only to be reminded uh, later. Uh, either when I'm going to take notes or when I listen to players talk about various bits of the game. So, the. Like a recent. I wanted to kind of, they're, you know, they, they've got, you know, there's a lot of misconceptions about any kind of thing. And like, there's also a lot of old developers from, you know, TSR days. Uh, you know, some of the deities are going to be just yikes. Like, this is not, why is, like, this is a being that is governed. that as the basis for the what a hit oh it's a tree oh I bet you it's just as opposed to uh
is the basis for like their their personal character. Um, like uh, kind of exploring the idea that like, uh, these old like like, in, like from like a meta standpoint, like I use the the kind of pre written or uh, uh, and then took it in world to be more of a uh, a preconception. Faith has fallen, uh, fallen, way black and shit. Uh, but what the deity really is, uh, and like how it's been worshipped. Like sure, these, these pre-written uh, uh, lords, like that, that is a part of it. Like not every aspect. But at least you know, this, is, this is part. It is part of the greater. Faith is kind of uh, and I completely forgot about that because I, I had like uh, I had introduced you know this character thing earlier, pretty early on. Uh, and so like I'm kind of just letting it sit. Letting the character uh, letting the uh, like engaging how the character story is set up. Uh, so completely forgot until the character uh, the player mentioned it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's right. I forgot that story. Oh, <laughs> that was a story for you. Uh, not too much for this, but uh, that's a little. Uh, like it turns out, like it worked out for the best. Uh, because now uh, I kind of, uh, if I have touched it. I had actively thinking about it, I might have a way to, to get it just digging back on I know that like I, I put it seeded it Like I did a, a little bit of real as they they beat the big bad uh, of this. Uh, part of me wishes that like uh, I uh, revealed, but so I really want to I need to like as the. And like there are dangling threads for you. Like uh can I get the R or R school sort of uh playing uh colors in the but I just really love the picture. Like having read the Avernus stuff is pretty cool. Uh, like, pretty cool. I feel like there's some missed opportunities uh, with 
wave set up. But, uh, like the adventure is cool. I mean, there's a lot of cool mechanics. Like, there's a lot of good stuff. A lot of... The... Baldur's Gate... Not so much. No, not so much. Uh, which feels a little bad to say. There's an entire section of that. There's a game that where they go into the lore and do some room structure world building like a lot of really cool stuff in there like one thing that like you would ever learn uh playing the game like playing for all the game which is one is that uh one of the grand one of the dudes uh, is actually by a mind player like a mind player like she like in the world had a stroke up that stroke was her was caused by her trying to get this uh this mind and that's fucking cool as hell dude that's awesome it doesn't come up at all it's so cool uh and like i could go on a long hand about uh the beginning of all fight lots of I think one of the biggest criminal things about that game uh, is like the way that the party model because the book, like that that that, that adventure, that, that book, it comes with a like a like a, a narrative device to give your uh, like uh, when you're making character creation to give your players and your characters all a reason to like do what you're supposed to do to be allow yourself to blackmail. But it's like barely mentioned, it's like tucked away in the back of the book. It's like, uh, hey, 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 hey. If I hadn't read through this passage two or three times and like happened to click on this hyper, I would have completely missed this. And like, it's never referenced again in the text. It's like one little passage. Uh, and it's like, it's a cool thing. It's like, uh, you know, a crime is committed. Uh, and so, like, you, you and the group figure out, using, like, this series of tables, what crime was committed? What was your character's, uh, role? Were you, are you guilty of the crime? Uh, like, uh, like, you know, all of these ways that you can still be involved and tied to this thing, uh, that, like, gives this, you know, NPC leverage over because you don't want to wind up in fucking prison. Uh, but, like I said, just a little passive image. Uh, which is a shame. I think, I think that, like, that hasn't been equivalent to um, would have solved, I would say, a solid 30% of the issues. Uh, aside from all of the other issues, the big one is, like, why not just... Why not just like, like uh, the DM, just all these rules go through, uh, force the players, oops, uh, to do what you want them to do, to experience the adventure. They are just in the this. Uh, but, yeah. And then, but yeah, so like, there's a lot wrong with it. Um, and I know particularly, it's, it's whatever. So, but the Advernus falls really much. So I was like, hey guys, I want to know what's going on. And I know the last experience we had with it, a big group, like, great, uh, you know, the intro is really hard. Uh, and like it's way too tough for the level of character uh, and style. So how about how about we start over? Uh, 
go with a smaller group. Rewrite the uh, sure, sounds like a lot Like, it, it, it was some, um, but like, I completely redid the uh, I kept a couple of core points, uh, but like, the, the first thing I did, uh, I had them all for. Right there, right, right there in the back of the book, as like a data player, already started. Really, like, I love the idea of starting uh, their career to go into like they've been arrested. Uh, jail system here, like, super fucking. Unless you're really fucking rich or a noble, like, if the, if the fucking I mean, this just says you're really poor, not really ever. And even if you do get your day in court, unless you I have some people, they're just going to say, uh, because you will not have had a little kind of attempt to prove your innocence the entire investigation. Um, and like, shit. So, like, they had a, they, uh, a jail escape, a prison escape, a little thing, it's easy, uh, it's easy for them. They, I introduced them to an NPC, and like, there was a whole bunch of different ways could have gotten it. Uh, they, they chose the way that I was. Oh. oh no! <laughs> Whoops. Uh, so, I appreciate it. Uh, and, you know, we started off here, and, uh, and, like, now, like, they're getting involved in the politics of Baldur's Gate, because, like, the, uh, their, their innocence, they're being accused of, of murdering one of the dukes of, uh, the Baldur's Gate, specifically Duke Portier, uh, who, I, they were all at the party in various capacities. Uh, whether they were attending a test or working at a performer, they snuck in to steal some food. Like, didn't matter. They were all there. And the last thing that they all remember, basically, just being consuming. Uh, and then they wake up in prison. The crime that they didn't commit. And, like, not a small one. The murder of one of the fucking, fucking four dudes. All the case. Big deal. Uh, like one a big enough deal that like, even if they did leave the city, which they could, there were ways for them to get out of the city. Uh, even if they did leave the city, like there wasn't there wasn't a guarantee uh, that they had to get They probably they'd have to go pretty far afield uh, for the hunters and the bounty if they were ever. I was prepared. Uh, I was going to make it. Uh, but they didn't. They wanted to clear their name. Uh, so they, again, they got stuck in and followed the storyline. They finally concluded it after, oh gosh, it's been a few months. Three or four. Because we, do, we did it every week. That way, our other one of the DMs it. Uh, the, uh, but yeah, so like the level weeks, eight, no, they're level, they're level eight, now they're level eight. Uh, and like they haven't gone to the tournaments. I'm not even sure. 
because like uh one of the things that's hinted at in the um original uh December game is I don't believe they ever state it clearly or it's very clear. A lot of implication that like Lady Vanthal uh, is working with Nari uh with the explicit purpose of eventually uh sending Calder basically doing the Baldur's escape she and uh her which is send it to you basically. Um so I really wanted to see what that was that was that was the plan. Um, but I made her a lot smarter. I uh gave her more resources I made her a lot be a bit harder. Uh for example, one of the things that they had is that the dead attacking the city. Uh, and they were doing so at the best of a vampire. Uh, like I feel, I believe she was. Yeah, that, like, she had her son. Like these are like the way that these guys are structured, and they're not. I would not trust a in centuries long uh, to these. It felt kind of weird to me that like Vamp Emperor, uh, Tamora Vamp is also this cunning, uh, political agent, uh, who has crawled, clawed her way up from the, the depths of poverty to become one of the four dukes of Calder Cave, would entrust, uh, perhaps some of the most important final stages of her plan, of her modification, to have been, like, going on. Uh, to a bunch of fucking weirdos in in the city sewers. Uh, so as I, I said, they are excellent skate players. Uh, so I was like, okay, I'm becoming poor, very much in the pocket of Jesus, uh, who has their own pocket. And, like, all right, what 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 do I do in this situation? I'm going to Ariel has on my material science. In fact, it's going to be rather uh, like capable of soldiers. So I started running out of it. And uh, I had her basically take Ariel to the uh, in, you know, a couple of demons. And she murdered the shit out of the cult of the dead. Take their stuff, dispose of the corpse, use their demon, and then, uh, as it disguised as them, commit what appeared to be seemingly random acts of kindness. Uh, but when you follow follow the trail, pull the thread, you, you know, suspiciously, there's a lot of political rivalry at this church, they have either changed their tomb after um, family members kidnapped mysteriously, or miraculously uh, managed to rescue or escape, uh, or have simply disappeared, never seen or heard from again, if not well, dead in the street by this rising. Isn't that fucking genius? Isn't that fucking genius? Doesn't that... Hmm. Hmm. Doesn't that seem to make a lot of sense? Somebody would trust the old people. But it also doesn't make sense. I would think it was part of the plan in, in So, like, I have her infiltrating uh, the Flaming Fist. We're now like, holy... Corrupt, uh, like the, the individuals who are members of the fist that are not, uh, 
either getting directly under Phantom Killer's payroll, Sorry, I'll even in the sky. The devil uh, uh, are basically used as candy. Because uh, more of them than being dealt with, the more we need to use people under the uh, Phantom So, you know, Phantom Killer creates uh, this crisis in the city that is rising. Uh, and then, at the same time, uh, she is the one who makes to uh, empower Holden to the flaming forest. So she's offered him some special problem. That's something that we didn't really get in the game. Uh, if they didn't find our players, uh, basically, uh, the answer. Phantom were off her own mercy uh, in the moon that became the flaming fist. Cracking. Uh, you know, extra body. Uh, and so, like, by doing that, she would offer a solution to the crisis she had created. Uh, and doing so, she managed to get stuck in front of the flaming fist. Hot, uh, kind of. Emotion. So by the time the events start in my version, uh, I haven't thought of either general or depending. I believe I went with Phoenix. Command her off. I first. Uh, his. Uh, Then a while, she is, you know, consolidating power in the parliament, the noble uh, government that is basically the strengthening of the force. She organizes the assassination of uh, Duke Fortier, um, and then uh, that is the scapegoat, then basically points the finger at some political rival. And some rangers pass her by as like uh, accomplices to the murder of that region. Uh, but went all the way out to the Virgin Islands Creek to get Duke Holder uh, Raven off Raven Guard, Raven Guard, uh, into uh, El Terrell, making uh, Avernus. Older has gone missing, never made it. Uh, and that was just kind of a kind of shame. Uh, since if they don't go looking for the Grand Duke, but they will eventually end up in the that is very much a problem uh, in these games. Uh, 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 brain fart. Uh, but yeah, so then I also added complications. You know, uh, there's Tiamat, who's on the first level of uh, crap in uh, Sorry, Prison for her. Uh, and like the. Really good. Kind of like uh, plot line where they're looking for some of Tiamat's stolen bird. Uh, and like, nothing really ever. <clears throat> you can kind of feel way if you if the players make like a very specific path, you can find a way of looking into finding Tiamat uh, and potentially killing her. Uh, 
but however, there's an anything While, while, while more of the answers have occurred, uh, at least in the instance of Ori, that has kind of complicated issue. There's now uh, demons who are kind of in the uh, game have appeared in Baldur's Gate. Uh, and, uh, they're Tiamat is focused on uh, trivial has given to Dalmor uh, and spent as widely as she can uh, spread Tiamat's coin uh, across the Talent share, water, uh, the traveling portion, sailboats, land contracts, uh, you know, paying bandits, literally spreading this money amongst the dragon across, across the, the face of the room. Uh, as far At this point, so there's like, there's probably some of it in the, uh, on the mark at this point. Okay. Uh, which makes sense because, like, Zariel is in charge of Tiamat's prison and is in charge of, like, the first level of hell. And, like, if Tiam Tiamat has nothing in mind and, like, plot and get up, might figure out a way. Out of the team, because crap. Okay. Uh, so if her followers are busy uh, chasing after some paltry bobble, so working on a way to stop the tree of their queen, makes sense. I mean, no, that said, there's still higher level people like Archon, is like canonically there attempting to, uh, I believe, use the hand of. Uh, but like, that's still kind of massive, right? So there's there's things things a lot of it feels at least to me as writing out things out. It really felt like the players had got tangled up. In Fiendish conspiracy. Because uh, there were people that were introduced. They never even got to meet again, explore the connection Like, I just I created as many things of arts uh, as I could. Uh, not all of them reached out. I kind of, kind of assumed they'd be interested in all of them. I had, like, Never really followed through. Um, and I didn't necessarily need to, but I had the skill. I think uh, one of my favorites, uh, like characters, uh, hmm, I kind of think a little bit as to my plans is a, uh, they were going to be an oath. It's too tall. It's too too many. <laughs> uh, but uh, is a, a cleric. I believe she's uh, a grave domain cleric. I'm trying to remember what domain cleric they made for stuff. I don't remember. Uh, but she's she's a cleric. But she she's a cleric of the spot. But she's like. 
Uh, she's a fascinating character. I really want to know that. I wanted to share with you some of her. Uh, I just thought the way that the story should be out uh, Because her stuff is that she believes she she basically became aware of the blood war, which you don't know what that is. The eternal war between uh, uh, demons and devils, demons being uh, beings of pure chaos, whose whole uh, uh, existence is to their whole reason is to devour and destroy all. Of them. Like they want to, they want to devour, destroy, and their reason. Uh, and then on the other side, you have uh, devil. They have their own business, how uh, whatever. They are basically the way that the inner cosmology works is that cavernous and hell, cavernous is the battleground for reality. Uh, that's where the legion. And for uh, should should they fall, should they fail, uh, like uh, demons go forth and the instead of like high school with the super, like they'll just begin to pour and eventually. The dangerous thing is that the disadvantageous part of the devil is they have to make more devils. Like devils or made from something like evil humanoid uh make packs uh the whereas on they don't require uh, physical form so they uh, a devil needs to be by another So like, that's a lot of like what devil uh, like why Zari pull an entire list uh, into hell uh, that she needs more meat for like a tiny bit. like keep back the onion or and so like learning uh, and like learning history of In the goodly realms who decide to fight to their ancient foe uh, and became corrupted in the very nature of the like kind of saw that as unnecessary like like this Ever, but one that cannot, as they say, existence cannot hold. Right? Uh, and so, like, doing that, like, she saw her own greater, like, the 
petty politics of you know, um, or like, you know, like narrow minded ideas of political and justice and things. Instead, kind of saw it as the greater of the entire conflict. Uh, so she rode around and she carried. She does not fucking beat her out much. Like, she does not try and trick them. She doesn't she doesn't try to manipulate them. She goes, okay. Here is here's here's reality. Here is here is here is what is going on. Here is where you are. This is what is like going to happen. I'm I'm a champion. Have your attention. She genuinely she believes she can serve because she's also planning to go to the hell that she left and and serve and fight and eventually kill in the blood of uh, where she will be obliterated. Uh, so she works with she negotiates on behalf. She doesn't. Uh, she she tries to make the best of the deal. Cut out all of like the like, like get as many of the the, the devil like, tricks out of them and assure them just better than that. Uh, a man <laughs> or like the lowest lowest level, and at least like the same level. And so like that's an interesting character. They're lofty. They believe they are doing the right thing, the greater good, the higher sacrifice. Uh, and that, like, you know, if you were to ask her why she's doing this, she doesn't know why not, um, you know, work with the angels and discuss with them, find more permanent solution. Uh, her response would probably be a lot of uh, Sometimes the cure to it. A little taste of it, you know, it's kind of uh, going along with it. Sometimes the difference between medicine and the And like, she's not stupid, she's not naive, like, she knows what devils are, and she knows that, like, they are not like, she knows that, like, Asmodeus is not like some kind of benevolent. Doing it in the past, and he's doing it because he has his own motivations. And, uh, and like, he's 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 got his own positive points. And honestly, if anything, blood war benefits him because it keeps his fucking uh, underlings busy. And as long as he's in, uh, indispensable, even stemming back to demonic stuff, like he's essentially untouchable. No god, like. Like, like, if you stop it, you think about it. As mode as mode is, has like caused a lot of problems for a lot of years. Like a lot in the, in the lore of the time. Um, and so have all of them. Uh, but like, he never sees that future. Why? Because he's fucking idle. Runs, uh, hold back the tide of demons. As long as the abyss exists, as long as it's still pumping out uh, eternally spawned on the uh, beings, uh, there's the need. And I, I just I find that very uh very interesting. I, I created her uh very specifically. Uh Matthew Cole. Uh I, I love his 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 critique in various ways. Uh running the uh in one of his episodes he talked about heroes, villains, anti-heroes, anti-heroes. 
you know. Oh, sorry, I had to adjust my headset. Uh, and I had never heard of anything before that that YouTube video. Uh, and like the idea of is that they are like in the way that an anti-hero is like kind of the unwilling hero, the anti-villain is the unwilling villain. Like they they'll do it. They will do what needs to be done. Uh, to serve whatever their greater cause is. Uh, it doesn't mean they necessarily do. Uh, and in the same way, Persephone does what she has done, but if she felt that there was uh, another way, reasonable, another way, uh, she liked to pursue that. She just believed I mean, that's fast. Like, like, if this is a character that's not I might explore this. Either it's writing, or it's being uh, another thing. As like a paladin. Because I really do think she should be a Fits her a bit better. War cleric. Right now, I'm enjoying my, my character that I'm playing in the spell game. Uh, it started off as a goof, but now, now the spell game is actually just uh, Which, as as is wont to happen, uh, is that I will start a goof uh, and then. Uh, you know, we initially we were just planning to like play a little free. Uh, spell Jammer Academy. Uh, we had so much fun with that. Pre written adventure from the book. Uh, and so uh, I've got, I was like, okay, well, originally I had made I was like, trying to think of a name. Uh, I'm just going to name a list or something. Uh, and so like, I was like, I Googled DD character art. For an adventure in And what should I find? What should I find? But an illustration of Steep with motherfucking Harry from Stranger Things as a DD adventure, as a fighter. Stop. Already, I'm scared to be together. It's all I've been wanting to do the time. This is the character that I'm going to play. Fuck, I'm going to be a Fuck, shit, alright. Hate, let's go. Uh, and so I, like, I threw out my original character. Thanks, Steve Herring. Fucking straight. Uh, season 1 Steve, so that way you can have that fun character art. Like, growing, growing up and being a person. Uh, Uh, because honestly, that's one of the best things you can see. And why he's like one of the best written characters uh, in contemporary fiction is his character. So satisfying to see him grow and really kind of discover who he is. Uh, and who he is. So, I play Steve Carrington of the. of the. Waterdeep Carringtons, a famous military family uh, of noble on the Sword Coast. Uh, he's kind of a little bit of like the reject of the family a bit. Uh, lots of great expectations for him. Uh, but he has 
basically failed the you know, He was supposed to bring, you know, like in in Stranger Things, you know, there's this like implication that he was doing shit. Just all these great implications. He's gonna he's gonna bring the he's gonna bring the, the basketball team, uh, you know, the state trophy. Um, you know, they don't that doesn't happen. That doesn't happen. Somebody else. Uh, like this, like the year after. Uh, so like, there's like part of Steve's growth in, in that series. Kind of realizing, like, oh, he's more of a fuck up than he is. Uh, at least in my uh, the society audience. Uh, and I'm kind of rejecting. Kind of like I've got Harry uh, it's from a very prestigious, but a very you know, strong mansion in Apple, a uh, distinguished family lineage. Uh, and you know, like he just doesn't seem to have the killer instinct. He's he's too soft as his father would say, because um, there's there's like a in the book Ender's there's two fights where Ender like really displays his philosophy, strategy, and acts of violence. and that is Ender goes on the offensive. He does not want to win the fight that he wants to win every fight that he could ever possibly have. Like in that he wants to win all of the future fights. Um, and that's what leads him to killing two kids. Uh, he doesn't mean to, but like that's just part of like that's like his killer instinct is that he wants to win, he has to win. And uh, every fight that he gets, like he ends, it. He just ends all future problems, and that's why he gets elected. Call them the others or whatever. Uh, that's why he winds up wiping out the planet uh, and killing entire species. So that's kind of like the Carrington family philosophy of warfare. Steve lacks that killing instinct. He doesn't. He, where his, his his family sees an enemy defeated. He sees a potential out. Uh, you know, he sees he sees a person who can be convinced to deserve a second chance. Um, because of that, he just does not uh, strategize and lead in the way that his family leads him to. So uh, he left, he ran away, he took some money that he thought would be enough. Uh, and he fucking he just he ran off wound up in uh signing up to go into the spell spell jammer academy and now he's fucking pilot like commanding a ship and piloting through wild space uh or at least like yeah that's a little bit of the last things that to be true on his first on like a, a, a real fucking mission uh but, like i'm excited to like Kind of show his philosophy, uh, his leadership in uh, in this uh, upcoming like session or so when we when we get to actually like pilot the spell jammer take the crew out because I've had a couple of moments of role playing like one of the other players wound up being the captain. Uh, or training session simulation did. Um, and like obviously I'm playing in this session. Right? Uh, and like, you know, an ignorant role He just yeah. <laughs> you know, he's only recently learned how to dress himself. <laughs> so like he's doing his best, poor guy. Uh, uh 
Uh, but like it was kind of cool to like, you know, have everybody write them up and see, uh, take the the moments in which like uh, you know the person who was playing the the captain fumbling a role, you know, no fault of their own, just like nothing being wasted, and take that as an opportunity to take like, pull it aside. And, hey, uh, blah blah blah, blah. command uh, like strategic advice. If you're gonna be a leader. Uh, and like get a get a chance to show like a serious side to him uh where like that is very much no nonsense uh because like uh when you're in here you have people lives like your decisions determine other uh people under you live and so when steve is in charge and I'm, I can't wait to get a chance to really show this. Um, so I got to show it some more uh, in the session as we really give them a payoff to choose. Show this kind of personality. Uh, like when Steven's like, man, it's totally different person. Like the goofs and the japes, they all disappear. Like it's, it, it's that honed experience of drill practice mentality the years of warfare philosophy uh, and strategic uh, uh, education coming to a front uh, and kind of channeling that, that person who was the uh, but like his version you know? so like, he doesn't give you like his I think of, of, like one of the things that have you know, one of the biggest uh, points of contention in his father himself uh, is that Steve does not ever want to put anyone under his command in a position uh, that is disadvantageous uh, and like overly right so like sometimes when you're in trouble and what happens you have to send people on really dangerous missions that they might not come back. Like, in all reality, they probably won't. Like, but like, a one-way mission is a thing that happens. And, uh, and, like, it's kind of a necessary reality when you're dealing with uh, large-scale conflict between nations. Like, sometimes uh, you must sacrifice That's like a position that's family. Steve is a little bit idealistic. He doesn't he views like the lives of his command precious and sacred. Like it's his duty home. So he doesn't ever want to send people on their kind of mission. Uh, he doesn't ever want to view any of his, uh, his troops as vendors. that fighting or for him to be like forced into a position where like he has to make that choice of like what what does he do is there a clever solution to, to this problem that he's running or does is the only thing he can do like reconcile the idea uh sometimes sacrifices he must be made sometimes yeah, in order to service the game for good, in this community. You know? Is, is that something he can reconcile with? Is that something that he can prove wrong? Uh, will that break him as a person and cause him to completely give up any uh, aspiration to leadership? I don't know. Honestly, I'm kind of excited to
might call it, I'm gonna call it three days. Uh, Saturday, I had to think about what day of the uh, oh, you know what? Sorry about that, you don't want to stare at me. Of course, though. Uh, give it a try. You know, we talked, we talked for a little over an hour about D&D stuff, character concepts, and I would love, you know, if, that, if it interests you guys, I would love to get more in-depth about characters. Uh, maybe, maybe we, we grow it. Uh, we can do a stream where you guys submit uh, characters. D&D or short story, we can kind of talk about it. Uh, and see, like, uh, what's cool about him, what might be interesting to, to try or explore with them. Uh, you know, it could be a lot of fun. Something, something definitely for the back pocket of the show. Uh, so, yeah, that is, that's going to be a picture. Uh, I had fun. This was a nice little weekend. Uh, we we may have crashed the car a couple of times, but uh, you know, not nearly as many as a. Uh, oh, my! Check my face. Oh my goodness! Anchor defaults, and then oh, not default. Not up. So yeah, and thank you everyone. Where did it? Go? There it is. Thank you everyone for stopping in. I appreciate all of you. Uh, I will see you at the latest next Wednesday. Uh, we may sooner than that. Possibly. Kind of a funny idea. Love. Uh...